Hello, hello, hello everyone. My name is Edward Amwaku and I'm a graphic designer and I welcome you to this amazing channel. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through on how to design a very simple thank you flyer. Okay. And um, yesterday or in our previous video, I did a tutorial video on how to design a birthday flyer. Okay. So, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you on how to just a design very simple thank you just to send to your friends and your loved ones thanking them um, for wishing you okay so without wasting my time let's start all right guys so you're welcome so as i said that um i'm not going to give you the pictures for this particular tutorial but i'm going to give you the fonts okay so if you have not watched the previous video on how to design a birthday flyer please a link will be in the video description just go and watch on how to design the birthday flyer and that will guide you to design this thank you flyer this is very simple and it looks so amazing all right so the first thing that you have to do is to go to your file here okay so we are going to create a new document and go to new so once your new document um pop up or we are using it social media um so we we'll leave it in puzzles the unit is uh, puzzles um 1080 1000 resolution 300 we are leaving it rgb so we can name this as um thank you flyer okay so let's name it and then i think the background is black any other thing is okay for us so we'll go ahead and create so this is your canvas okay so this is my document so the first thing that you have to do is to bring in your your picture okay that's the first thing so let me go to where i have my picture if you have your picture you can use it so i'm bringing in this particular image to photoshop and drag it and bring it onto photoshop so what you have to do is I will double click to accept, rasterize it from the layer side over here, come to the layer side, right click it and rasterize and go to your properties, look for your properties. If your properties are not there, go to windows and then look out for your properties over here. Okay. So click it. When the properties popped up, look for quick action and go and click on remove background. And within some few minutes, Photoshop AI will remove the background absolutely for you okay so you have your background be removed so we don't need this property again so what we do is that control minus on the keyboard to zoom out okay then what you do is to expand the image okay so what you do is click on alternate on your keyboard hold and drag on any of these edges okay so you can just click here hold or press on the alternate and then you drag it out okay all right so you drag it out so something like this i think it's okay then you bring the image down okay good so i want the whole image to fill all right then Control o to fit in then it's left with one more image so you click on this background go to where my image is so i'm bringing in this particular image on the photoshop leave it on the photoshop and let's wait for some few minutes and it will be placed for us very good so here is it so what i'll do is double click to accept all right go to my layer side here right click it and then rasterize it rasterize simply means that it gives you the ability to you know remove the background okay so go to the property again go to remove background and our background will be removed so we are going to do this particular magic where we um, let the image be on the background like this. Okay, so let's go back to Photoshop. Absolutely amazing. So our background has been removed. So we are going to do the same thing. Control minus to zoom out. Control minus again. Then we are going to click, hold and drag. Press on alternate. And then you enlarge it like this. Okay, so I think let me reduce it small so i want the image to be somewhere here which is not bad double click to accept then what i'm going to do is select this particular image go and select my brush tool or my eraser tool you see this plus icon it means that your caps lock is on turn it off 
and then you brush some of the image off okay so something like this i think i like it good then control o just to make sure that it fits then what you are going to do is to add a solid color okay to the whole image all right good and i'm going to give you the color code all right so just once you open your color picker that is come to the layer side here the layer panel okay we call this adjustment layer click on it and go to solid color and we are going to add this particular background zero zero four five four four zero zero four five four four okay and then we are going to reduce the opacity okay so you head on to the opacity here and then you reduce the opacity to any size that you think you need it okay so you can leave it to 70 if you want okay so let's let me check my design so my design over here you could check that i left the opacity to 85 okay so you can also leave it to 85 if you want okay it depends on how you want it okay so what i'll do next is i'm going to brighten this particular image okay so what i'll do is that go to my image go to layer here and go to black and white i'm turning the image to black and white very good okay then i'll go to the same image again adjustment and go to exposure i'm going to add a bit of exposure to the particular image okay so i think this is okay for me all right i like it this way okay all right if you also want to you can just reduce or you can just increase the opacity or reduce the opacity to 80 if you want okay depending on what you really want so if you look at this okay you could see that that's it okay so what we do next is we are going to add a bit of brightness to this particular e layer okay that is the color fill so we are going to add a solid color here then we go to um curve okay and with a curve we are going to click on this that means that we want only the layer or we want the effect to only um only appear on this particular layer all right so click on this and then we are going to add a bit of so when you go up you could see how it looks like but we don't want it to be like that okay we really want it to uh, be like this okay just something small okay so something like this is okay then go ahead and close it up all right so you see the brightness is coming so we can just have a look at it just double click this and then you can see it okay yes all right all right and then again we are going to add the same kind of i mean brightness or exposure to the particular image so what we do is that go to this side again the adjustment layer add a bit of curves okay click on this so that it will only happen on the image okay let me drag it here and then click on it if you go down it will be dark we want it to be brightened a little bit okay so something like this is okay for me all right good and then i think i can I can set this one to let me set it to multiply okay all right so don't forget that you set the um the fill color to multiply okay make sure you set your fill color to your uh, multiply so that this brightness will come up then what we'll do next is that we are going to reduce the image this one the one at the back we're going to reduce the opacity small to 50 with or 40 45 i think it's okay all right so here is it absolutely amazing so you have something like this okay then what i'm going to do next is that i'm going to apply this you see this blue ellipse shapes or just circle there we are going to do that thing so what you do is i go to your ellipse 
okay go and go to your um, shape select ellipse and then you draw just a, any round rectangle okay this property will pop up we don't need it all right then we are going to reduce it small bring it somewhere here okay then what you are going to do is that we are going to change the color of this so double click on this particular thumbnail here double click it and then we are going to pick a color which it looks like a blue okay all right so you can just put in this color code 3b 9 e 3b 9 e okay all right then what we are going to do is that we are going to reduce the opacity okay so we're going to reduce the opacity to somehow let me say 30 which is not bad okay then we are going to copy this again bring it somewhere here okay so which means that the rectangle the ellipse shape is too small so i'm going to make it big all right then bring this one here and then this one to here so i'm going to get something like this i'm going to change this particular to a reddish color so just double click on the place that i told you this ellipse shape okay double click it and then we are going to put in this color code a524 okay 24 a524 24 so i'm going to have something like this so let's go to our design so you can see that i set the opacity to 29 this one to 29 okay so you can do that so you reduce the opacity to 29 so let's go back let's go back to our design so ours was 30 all right you can leave it like that or better still you can just you know add it but i just wanted to bring a something like you know beautiful to it you can just reduce it like this so you can leave it oh good so what is left for us to do is to bring in our text okay is to bring in our text if you want to increase the image you can go ahead and then increase the the image if you want to okay if you want to, you can go ahead and then increase the image okay to 80 all right so let's bring in the text now the first text with this thank you i use a certain font let me activate my character the font name is um signature let me type in signature okay so i use this particular font called signature personal okay all right so the color let's that it doesn't matter so let's type that one too there so thank you good so we are going to turn this one to zero and then we are going to increase the font to something like this so i need something like this i think this is this is good then i'm going to apply okay let me reduce this size to 60 yes so something like this is okay now i'm going to turn this one to gold color so just come to your um so let, let me finish typing what is there so let me copy this and change the font to uh, monstrat okay or poppins any of them but i think monstrat will be the best monstrat okay okay so the monstrat i need something like bold or oh, yes let me pick semi bold so yeah and then change the font size to eight or nine yes so thank you so i'm going to we are going to type in this text thank you to all those who help so so i'm going to let the baby come down so i'm going to have something like this okay so I'm going to align everything at the center okay like this so i'm going to have something like this i'm going to change this one to semi bold okay but i wanted it to be bold so i can change it to bold and then change the font size to 10 which is okay good now i'm going to add a bit of gold color to this font so i'm going to fx go to gradient okay so i'm going to give you the gradient color don't worry 
then i've set the gradient color so i'm going to give you the color code the first one is f3 here is it f3e078 f3e078 and then the second one f4881b f4881b we want the, the style to be on linear everything to be zero the angle everything here is okay all right go ahead and click okay so you have something like this so what is left is for us to write the name here mr richard kwame iec okay so what we are going to do is copy this bring it here and this is going to be the name mr okay so i'm going to align it left and then i'm going to change the font to italic but i will want bold italic all right then the font i'm going to reduce the size to eight bring it here still is too big so let me pick six yes i think i like this then i'm going to copy the thank you ctrl j don't worry this is going to be ceo of um rainy don't don't worry i'm going to change the font to monstrat okay and then let me pick italic board and then let me pick six so i'm going to have something like this okay so let me change the font to four i think four is okay let me zoom in so that you have a look at whatever that is happening so let me reduce the size so i'm going to have something like this which is absolutely beautiful okay very good so this is this is what we have amazing this is very simple so this is the original and this is the one that we just did okay so please if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed please subscribe to push this channel i am back again with back to back tutorial videos okay so let me correct the rich where the rich is here okay yes so when you are done as usual you have to go and export by going to file here and then go to export export as so when you press on export as this is what you are going to have so you check if your measurement everything is okay so this is your work this one is selected jpeg is okay the quality i said you can leave it to great so just go through but i always want my quality to be high so i set it to great i mean any other thing is okay for me so i'll go ahead and export and then i will direct it where do i want to export it to so i always say that i want to export it to desktop so it is already on desktop so export it to desktop so let's go back to our desktop and open our work to see how it looks like so here is it thank you flyer so this is the original one so let's open it double click and let's open it to see how it looks like amazing so you have something like this and then you can send it to the friend or you can just send it to your client or whatever so here is it so please this will be the end of my video don't forget that you like the video comment let me hear your comments on this particular video thank you and let me see you in the next video bye